Hi everyone, welcome back to Telford Elim Kids Extravaganza. My name is Felsia. I'm so glad and excited that you have joined us. How are you all today? Can you all say a big hallelujah? Hallelujah! Lovely. Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, even now, when we worship and meditate on your word, open up our hearts and mind so that we'll be able to learn something from today's session. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Are you all ready to sing and dance? Did you all enjoy the song? That's great. This month, we are focusing on the topic obedient to Jesus. Obedient to Jesus is not only to listen to God's word, but we must do what it says. We all know the story of Adam and Eve. As long as Adam and Eve were obedient to God, they received all the blessings from God and they lived happily. But the moment they disobeyed God's word and ate the fruit which God told them not to eat, what happened? They lost their happiness. When we obey God and His word and do what He tells us to do, we can also receive God's blessings 
and happiness in our lives. Today, we are going to listen to the story of Last Supper. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The Story of Easter, The Last Supper This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. The disciples asked Jesus where he wanted to eat the Passover meal that night. Jesus said, As you go into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Hello. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, Uh, hi. The teacher asks, Where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. The disciples found everything to be just as Jesus had said. Later that evening, Jesus arrived with the 12 disciples. They sat down to eat and Jesus said that he was happy to be with everyone. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, take it. For this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. And he said to his disciples, This is my blood. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said, One of you eating with me here will betray me. He told them that things were supposed to happen this way, but that great sadness would await the one who betrays him. The disciples were very upset and asked, Am I the one? Who is he talking about? Judas asked Jesus, Am I the one? And Jesus said, You have said it. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus said it was the one who he would give the bread to. He gave the bread to Judas, and Jesus said, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant, so Judas left at once to betray Jesus. Then Jesus comforted and encouraged the disciples. He promised them that they would have a helper come when Jesus was gone. They all sang a song to God together. Hope you all enjoyed the story. The Last Supper is in Luke chapter 22, verses 7 to 22. It's in Luke chapter 22, verses 7 to 22. Jesus was celebrating the Passover meal with his disciples. Why do we say it is Last Supper? Because it is the final meal Jesus had with his disciples before he was crucified on the cross. During the Last Supper, Jesus asked his followers to remember him by regularly partaking the communion. Today, we are going to have the communion. What? Two things do we eat and drink during communion. Bread and the juice. We have bread which represents the body of Jesus and we have juice which represents the blood of Jesus. When we take communion, we remember his death on the cross and also we are obeying what Jesus had asked us to do. Memory verse for today is, Do this in remembrance of me. 
First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 24 Let's have communion now First Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 26 For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The bread which represents Jesus' body. And the juice, which represents Jesus' blood shed for us. Lord, we thank you for the sacrifice you did for us on the cross. Holy Spirit, help us to grow in faith and love. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we commit everyone who are watching this program into your mighty hands. Help us to remember what we have learnt. Watch over and protect each one of us. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you were blessed and encouraged. Send your monthly crafts to online at telfordelim.com If you have any questions, please do email us. One of our team members will get in touch with you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.